What's up everyone, my name's Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys over at Tender, we're taking a look at their MW5S Mess Wi-Fi system. First of all though, as always, let's roll on that intro. So everyone, this is the Tender Mesh MW5 Nova system. Now we've actually taken a look at their MW6 system in the past. We gave out an absolutely raving review for being a fantastic system at £150. This is the MW5, about the 5S. This effectively takes all of those really good points and now comes in at £100. So let's get into the box and see what we've got. So the, M the standard MW5 pack comes with three of the Nova nodes. And uh, if we get into it, we'll show you just what you get. So you do get a quick installation guide. You get a little bit of gumph, an important bit. Please start from the left node, the primary node. Or in other words, the one that has a sticker on the top. Plug that one in first. So you do get one, two, three little nodes. You also get a network cable for plugging your master node into your modem. You also get three little power plugs. I won't bother showing you those, but they're just three little power supplies. And these are the three nodes. So we'll take a quick look around the outside of them to start off with. They are just a little plain white box. They are a glossy top. There's a little peely sticker on them. Little LED notification light on the front. On the bottom, we do have some warm mounts. So you could technically warm mount those should you wish the little QR code which you will need later on and then if we look at the back we've got a pair of gigabit network ports a reset button and the power socket now one of the things I mentioned about them taking the good bits of the MW5 uh, MW6 is the gigabit ports now there is also an MW3 system was about a hundred pounds and that had hundred megabit these now MW5 actually have gigabit ports which is great for anybody that has internet connections over 100 megabit or if you're doing a lot of data transfer so these are your three nodes uh, what you need to do to get started is follow the instructions basically all you need is a mobile phone it is that simple and you follow the instructions, I'll just find you the English ones. There we go. And it is as simple as following the instructions. It is so simple, anybody, you don't even have to be com computer literate. You literally need to be able to physically plug it in and use the Tender app. The Tender app is fantastic. You use it for starting up the network where you input your settings. Uh, another thing that they've added recently is now the bridge mode. I'll get onto that a little bit, but you basically install the app and it go guides you through exactly what you need to do. You plug the first one in, you get it all set up. You plug the second one in, you scan the QR code and it connects it to the network. Then you do the third one, you scan the QR code and it adds it all to the network. My recommendation personally is to connect these all up sort of close by and then unplug them and plug them back in where you then need them to be. Now mesh Wi-Fi systems work in a way where effectively this sort of configuration is best. So the master talks to all of them. You can, as I actually have in my house due to the size of it, have them sort of set up in one, two, three. It's not optimal, but unfortunately my house is very long and I've actually got mine sort of set up in this sort of way. But my first one and my second one are a little bit too far apart for them to reach, but they do work in that config without any problems. Um, and basically the way mesh Wi-Fi works is rather than having separate networks dotted throughout your house, uh, with a traditional system, even if you use the same SSID or the same name, you would find that until you physically disconnect from one network, you won't connect to the new one. Mesh Wi-Fi works by that they all talk to each other. And this one will basically go, hey, I'm giving you better internet. 
and it will automatically swap you to them completely seamlessly. You won't even notice it. One of the tests I did was while on FaceTime, I walked through the house and it swapped me through the networks. Completely seamless, didn't even know it happened. Not a glitch in a FaceTime conversation. No problems at all. Okay, if you were playing a game, you may notice something. Um, but like FaceTime, things like that, no issues at all. So once you've got this all set up, you've got your tender app for the mesh system. Um, I've actually still got the MW6 system plugged back in now. Um, and the Tender app will basically allow you to do everything you need to do. There's no going into a laptop, typing in some weird number and hoping you get to an admin page and then forgetting the password because it's all done with this. Now, with this, you've got your basic sort of wireless settings. You can set up what's called guest networks. So you can set up a effectively completely separate mesh Wi-Fi system from your own one for guests to come and use. You can limit their bandwidth. It also means they won't be able to access your devices on the network. So if you don't want them accessing your server or seeing how much you've got, they not a problem. You've also got parental control, which is another handy feature. Basically means you can put the kids in a group and you can give them curfews for their internet. You can say, right, your internet is only gonna work from 5 p.m. after dinner until 8 p.m. at night. 8 p.m., internet turns off. Okay, kids with phones will just turn their Wi-Fi off, but we're ignoring that part. You do also have the internet settings where you can cho choose your connection type and things like that. And that's where I said this bridge mode comes in handy. With bridge mode, what it is, a lot of people here, especially in the UK, if you're with, say, Virgin Fiber or a BT even, you have a modem with a built-in router. So your router has the modem built in. You cannot ditch said box easily because you need a modem. Now, uh, I've actually got the older BT system where I have a separate modem and then you can plug your own router into it. So I can just plug this directly into my modem. But if you cannot do that, if your modem is built into your original factory supplied router, you set these to bridge mode and effectively it just creates its own network piggybacking off of that one. So you don't have to worry about any problems with um, what's called DHCP com uh, conflict. So that's IP addresses getting sent from things. What it is, these can give your devices their IP address. But if you have another router, you then have two things attempting to give IP addresses, things get confusing. You don't have to worry about all the gumfo, just set it to bridge mode. If you, can, if you have to use your original modem, just set them to bridge mode, and these will then not administer an IP, and your original one will. You don't need to know the ins and outs of it, just know that if you're using your factory one, just set them into, uh, into bridge mode. Once you've got it all set up though, it's nice and simple. The app is easy to use. You can even set up a schedule for the thing under do under maintenance schedule. You can set it up to automatically restart itself. So if you're one of these, if you I've actually had with a certain supplier in the past where I found if I didn't reset my route, say like once a month or even once a week, things just got really slow. And you can actually set it to do this. Every, you can even set it to do it every day if you want. Set it at a time when nobody's using the internet and it just does it all on its own. You do have a few other things. You've got uh, what's called fast roaming. This is one of the features for handing from one to the other. Basically, if you're using a relatively modern device, enable it. If you've got some old devices and you do have some issues, try turning that off, but I've, I've, I haven't got anything old to test it with. You also have port forwarding. So if you need to access something outside of you, your house, say you have uh, a Plex server, and you want to be able to access that from outside of the house, you can set up port forward forwarding and things like that. It's all available in the app and it is all really nice and easy to use. Firmware updates are there as well and I do recommend you do them. That was how I found out about the bridge mode because um, my MW6 system didn't have it to start off with and then did a firmware update and there you go. Firmware update, again, it's all done nice and easily and it just you just click the button and off it goes. So. One other thing I do need to mention about these is the network ports. Now on your master, on your primary node, your internet comes into here. This is then a gigabit uh, output port effectively. So you've got everything coming out. Now what I've set up in my house is I have my internet in and then out of this one, I then have that plugged into a 12 port gigabit switch. And then that de delivers cables throughout the house. But what you can also do is on your other nodes, you can use these to plug devices in. So if you're using something that doesn't have Wi-Fi, for example, um, I've got a color laser printer here and it is a bit old and it doesn't like the Nova system for some reason. 
I haven't tried it with any other mesh Wi-Fi systems, but it will not connect to this mesh Wi-Fi system. The simple answer to it though was just plug a network cable in. If you're using an Xbox and you'd rather use a cable, plug it in. If you've got a smart, an older smart TV with a LAN port and no Wi-Fi, just plug it in. You can connect two devices. You can even connect another switch to this. I have tested that and it works really well. So you can connect a five port switch to one of these. And if you've got amplifiers, receivers, or just computers, and you would prefer to use a networked, a wired network, which is more reliable, yeah, just plug them all in. It's not a problem. So the MW3 system, what did I actually think of it? At £100, so far, I don't think anybody can rival it. It is great value for money. It's really easy to set up. Anybody can do it. And not only do they have the MW5S, as you see, I keep calling it the MW5, but it's not. This is the 5S. What they do also have is the MW5 system, which is effectively the same gubbings, but you get one of these cubes, and then you get two wall plugs. So they are a bit bigger than one of these, but it is just a wall plug. And they are effectively one of these, but in a wall plug shape. So you don't have to have a box and a power supply. Um, I am going to try and get hold of one of those because I prefer those, that type. But it's all depends on sort of where you're going to be putting them. But you do have the five system, which is exactly the same gubbings, exactly the same setup, exactly the same hardware, just in a slightly different form factor. Same price. But that one here in the UK is exclusive to Carphone Warehouse, the Curry's, Dixon's, that group. I will put links to everything down below so you can go and click on them and have another look yourself. But overall, I think the MW5 has to get a massive, massive thumbs up. I mean, for a company to come out with something this easy to use, because normally weird unknown brands, I'm not saying tender and unknown brand, they're getting quite big in the industry, but some of the off brands, shall we say, i.e. it's not Asus, it's not Cisco, it's not Linksys, things like that. Their apps and things for setting things up have in the past been horrendous. The Nova system from Tender though just completely changes my views on that. It is so simple and easy to use. Anybody could set this up. I mean, your five-year-old kid could probably set this up. There we go, I've said it. It is that simple. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a massive thumbs up. I've had almost no faults. The only faults I've ever had with it was I did have a couple of IP config com conflictions, but that was entirely my own fault. That was because I had a couple of devices manually set to static IPs. So yeah, I had no issues. It was easy to set up and everything just works. So there we go. That is the Tender MW5 mesh Wi-Fi system. It is a full mesh Wi-Fi system offering every single band, 2.4 and 5 gig, up to 1200 megabit. The speeds on it are fantastic. I forgot to cover that. The speeds on it are fantastic. I tested across the entire length of my quite large house with no problems at all, went right the way down the garden with no issues. So I am gonna get say massive thumbs up if you're in the market for one and you have a little bit of a budget, check it out. On that note guys, that is it for today. So if you've liked my video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, not a problem. Any comments, questions, suggestions, or anything, leave it in the comment section down below. I always do my best to try and answer them all. And if you want to see more of me, click the subscribe button, click the little notification bell, and I will be back this time next week. I'm here every Saturday at 6pm. On that note, guys, bye for now.